Hey everybody, this is Ben Zinn with Epic Guitar Instruction. Welcome to the lesson today. Thanks for joining us. We're going to take a look at the really fun pop tune by Taylor Swift called Blank Space. We're going to take you through some different approaches for how to play along with this tune and have fun on our acoustic guitar. Uh, so let's jump right in and check it out. We're going to show you a few different ways to play the two chord progressions in this song, some by using bar chords, some by using the capo, and some with a combination of both. But before we do all of that, let's first just take a look at the two different chord progressions that we see in this tune. Over the verses of this song, we're going to have a four chord progression that starts with an F chord. And once again, here is a bar chord, but we'll show you some different ways that you can do it if that's tricky for you. The second chord is a D minor chord. The next chord is a B flat. And the next chord is a C. So those are the four chords that we find over the verse section of the tune. So now that we have our verse chords, we can play them a couple of different ways. One way is just to play and hold for four counts, two measures on each chord. So if I start with my F chord, I can play and hold. Now switch, two, three, four, again, two, three, four, and switch, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That works out great. Or if you want a little bit more momentum, you can strum eighth notes all his downstrokes. This works out really well too. feel free to switch between those two strumming styles as you play along with the track. Now, when we get to the chorus or the hook, the big section, the chords are gonna change up a little bit. So let's talk about those chords now. Again, we're gonna start out with an F chord and then a D minor second. But now my third chord is going to be a G minor. And my fourth chord is gonna be a B flat so those get moved around a little bit. Same thing here, you can play and hold each chord for two bars, or you can strum through. So here would be the chorus if we were strumming through. As you guys might notice, there's some bar chords happening in this tune, and this can be a little bit of a challenge when we're trying to work our way from open chords to bar chord positions. Uh, so there's some tips and techniques that we've developed. We want to share them with you. We have a free video lesson and an ebook. It's all kinds of great information in these two lessons. It's information on exercises that you can do, proper fret hand technique, how to get from one bar chord to the next without your hand falling apart, all of that good stuff. It will help you out not only with this tune, but with any tune that you see that's going to use these bar chords. So uh, if you want to check out that free lesson, that would be great. All you got to do is just click on the link you see in the description box and we'll send that to you from Epic Guitar Instruction. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these two chord progressions and we're going to play them against a backing track. And I'm going to demonstrate these different ways that you can strum along. And you can do this with the original uh, Taylor Swift tune as well. You can take these chords and chord progressions and try playing along and seeing if you can get everything to line up. Okay, here comes our chorus. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One more time through the chorus, same thing. Now 
Now let's go to the verse progression. Here we go. And I'm going to play and hold here just to let it breathe a little bit. Remember now B flat. Verse again, this time, let's add in a little bit more playing inside the chords. Just try picking some of the notes. Build for our chorus. Here comes our chorus again. Chorus. One more time. And then back to our verse. All right, everyone, that's Blank Space by Taylor Swift. I thank you so much for checking out this video lesson. I'm Ben Zinn for Epic Guitar Instruction. Hey, if you dug the video, do us a favor, click the like button, comment below, subscribe, let us know, let us feel the love a little bit, and we appreciate it so much, you guys. And hey, if you want to, click on the link below, and we'll send you that free video lesson from earlier with the ebook on all those skills, everything that you need in your guitar playing. So we appreciate it so much. Thanks again. Once again, epic guitar instruction, and we'll see you next time.